Snoop in action. You too, delicious. You know, in my last video, I was discussing LB versus the hockey kids in the hotel, and they were running around being, uh, sorry, being cute, and kids are gonna be kids. Mm -hmm. Well, night two was a was a treat. Um, they upped their game to not only running down the halls, but running down the halls and knocking on random doors. <laughs> so I grabbed one of the kids. I opened the door and I grabbed him. I was like, ah! You like to knock on doors? You're going to be staying here for a little while. <laughs> no, I didn't do that shit. Tempted, but no. Uh, just ignored it. <laughs> kind of. But really, if you did do that shit, they never knock on your fucking door again, right? Ew, you scared me. You took me inside. Um. Anyways, running back and forth. Dan needs gets good. They said, "Oh, since we're in a hockey tournament, let's keep the game going. Woo! Let's help play hockey in the hallway." So they got their miniature nets and their miniature sticks. Look at me. I look like a hot Anyways, so they're still playing hockey, like miniature hockey, in the hallway. As soon as you come out of the elevator, boom! Wait, what? What? Hold on. Record scratch. It's like, this is. No, okay. He cannot be that stupid. <sighs> so, back downstairs. Nope, uh-uh. Ooh! Albie goes downstairs, opens. <whistles> Hi, reception, how can I help you? Yeah, um, you know those wonderful children yesterday? And you said they were on strike two already? I don't know why they let them back in the hotel in the first place. Anyways. I'm like, yeah, well, now they're playing hockey. Yeah, they're at a tournament. No, like, in the hall. And she did one of these. Oh, my God. Every time. Every time. What? Every time, you said? Every time? So they've done this before? We've done it every time? Every time they come to the hotel? Yeah. So she's like, all right. She goes upstairs. Comes back downstairs. Like, wow, the father was really upset. They're like, what do you mean my kids can't play hockey in the hall? <laughs> See, this is like when you book a lot of rooms and you have this like self entitled, like you think like you booked the whole hotel and there's no other there's no other freaking guests other than you. I went to the whole west wing. Do you know who I am? Look at me. I'm the coach of the hockey division. In Rochester, New York. Do you know why? Because it's fancy. Because I rolled my fucking arms when I said it. Rochester. Anyways, he's pissed off, man. A couple of hours go by. Go outside. Do some shopping. Some din-dins. Come back. I'm like, ah. To playing. They're at it again. Back to boom, mm -mm. boom. Hi. If you feel like you're watching the movie Groundhog Day, it's because we had the same discussion just four hours ago. They're doing it again. But the hockey again? Exactly. They're playing the. Oh my god. Every time. Every time. Alright, I'm bringing my manager with me. They go upstairs. They knock it off. I go downstairs because I'm like, eh, get my second win, go for a little walk. I go front and I hear the papa, head coach or whoever, he must be high in ranking in Hockeyville. Because he was like, well, you know what? And now it's getting really bad. Like the kids are screaming. Now they're running like from floor to floor. <laughs> Every gift, every child is a gift. And they're like, oh, this is fun. The dad's like, well, they can't tell us to do this, you know. Um, heck, she, I don't know who she thinks she's talking to. Oh, God, it's getting rough now. 
now and are saying some choice words about the girl we're having a reception. I'm like, oh, let's see when it's like 10 o'clock. They have a curfew at 10 o'clock. Um, whatever. I'm going to go to the other room. I go to the room. I have some more drinks. I'm watching TV, drinking beer, have some snacks. At like 12 ish. I'm like, okay. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Go downstairs. They're still downstairs. The kids are still running. And the, and the dad is like, They said you can't play hockey. You know what? I give my blessing. Go nuts. Go fucking nuts. I quote to a child, Go fucking nuts. I'm like, What's fucking nuts, Papa? Anyways, now he's getting mad. And there's a new girl walking, working for the night shift. And she's down there, and she she's like this. <laughs> she's just losing her shit. She's practically shaking. She's so fucking upset. And she's like, I, I I called the cops. I don't, I I don't need this shit. I'm I'm fucking. Excuse my language. I'm just a fucking fucking. She was really upset, and the cops showed up. So these moron parents, and the kids are screaming and running all over the building because they're too busy getting their paps done. <laughs> You know, what kids, what kids? Hey, if you shit it out, you gotta look after it. I'm sorry. So, then the cops show up, and it's like the adults are suddenly the children. Okay. How old are you? 40, 45, 50? Um, management would like you to go to your rooms. Go to your room! That is belligerent, Dad. Oh, really? What? What? Oh. Anyways, I don't think they're coming back to this hotel. But, uh, yeah, apparently they're on their th second... That was, like, they already had two strikes. And they're like, well, the hockey organization will only send them to certain hotels. I'm like, oh, my God. We'll see. Apparently we're getting comp tonight, whatever. Nice hotel. Nice staff. Just, I mean, clientele. Jesus Christ! I don't like, is this with all sports teams that come or all hockey tournaments? I don't know. Maybe it just, maybe it just making the other hockey tournament people, hockey parents look bad. And I just got one bad example. I got, I bought a lemon, bought a new car, bought a lemon. They're not all like that, Alby. I hope I'm right. But these guys, Jesus, man. This is some, we're super nanny when you need her. Super Nanny, where are you? And upload.